Well, thank you. Thank you both for your uh, service to the country. We're going to try to get through as much as possible here. Do you support the arms sale uh, to uh, Saudi Arabia that's being proposed? Uh, I do, yes. Do you, General? I do, Senator. Okay. Uh, JASTA, are you concerned that we could be creating an environment where <clears throat> something like this bill could be used against our troops down the road? Uh, it, that is, it, it law, that is a, a law enforcement matter, but we are watching it closely for the very reason. Do you support the president's namely, veto of this? Well, bill? I'm very, con I'm concerned about. Okay. Uh, I'm Fair concerned enough. about exactly what you're talking okay. about. Fair enough, Fair and we'll talk. Know. I'll write you a letter. We'll do it more in detail, but I understand your concerns. Uh, do you support arming the Syrian Kurds? Uh, I do support working, uh, continuing to work with them, yes. Um, I mean, no, I didn't now, say work with them, providing them arms. Yeah, well, we, are, we have Sorry. provided them with some equipment already and providing them arms, yes. They okay. are part of the, they are part you. of the Syrian Democratic Forces. It, it, right. Now, we haven't taken any specific decisions well, about that I, I got yet. You. And, but right. they are... The answer is yes, you support arming the Kurds more uh, in I Syria. support whatever is required okay. to help them okay. move in the direction of rock which could be providing them more arms yeah. what about you general dunford senator it's important uh, i can't answer this yes or no and it's important i, I say a couple of things about this number one they're the most effective force that we have right now and the force that we need to go on raqqa and we do have sufficient can, force can this to be able to secure uh, these raqqa yes sir i appreciate that we, do they do they support removal of assad uh, today, that is not their stated political objective. So wait a minute. Focused... Now, let's slow down. Whoa, 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 whoa. We have two objectives, to destroy ISIL, right, and to, move, to remove Assad. Is that correct, both of you? Uh, we have a military objective uh, to destroy ISIL. I do not have a military objective to remove you... Assad. Well, the president has an objective of— uh... He has a political objective okay. to remove Assad. All right. So do you agree with me Assad is winning right now? Uh, I think Assad is clearly in a much stronger place than he was right. a year ago. Well, thank you. You've always been very honest to this committee. Do you agree that uh, Obama will leave office and Assad will still be in power January 2017? I don't see a path right now where Assad would okay. not be in office. In so January. let's talk about how you change the political equation. Do you agree with me that the only way Assad's ever going to leave if there's some military pressure on him that makes the threat militarily more real to him? I think that's a fair statement, Senator. Okay, so if the main fighting force inside of Syria is not signed up to take Assad out, where does that force come from? Senator, I, I can't identify that force, but I, I do want to distinguish between what you're suggesting with Assad and, and Raqqa. The reason why I support the SDF is my number one priority is to, is yeah, to I, stop I, the planning I, and I, conducting I, of external I, operations. Totally. And moving totally forward good. against Raqqa with the SDF yes, is sir. the way to do that. So let, let's look at it this way. Uh, um, ISIL's Germany and Assad's Japan. We're focusing on Germany. So will this force, which is mainly Kurd, but not all, can they liberate Raqqa and hold it? This force is not intended to hold Raqqa, no. What is the plan to hold Raqqa? We, know, we, we currently have 14,000 Arabs uh, that have been identified. and when Is we, that the holding force? That may consist of part of the holding force. Well, do we have a plan to hold Raqqa? We have a plan. It is not resourced, okay. Senator. Okay, all right. So I just want everybody to know where we're at in Syria. We're making gains against ISIL, the main force that we're using, are Kurds who can't hold Raqqa. The Arabs have to. You're absolutely right about that. The Kurdish force, which is the main center of gravity inside of Syria, at this moment is not interested in putting military pressure on, on Assad. Other than that, we're in a good spot. Now, I'm not blaming y'all. You didn't create this problem. Years ago, most of you recommended we up the Free Syrian Army when it would have mattered. We are where we are. I just want to make sure that the country knows what's going on in Syria is going to be inherited by the next president. And if there's not a change in strategy to create a ground component that not only can hold Raqqa and put military pressure on the side, this war never ends. Uh, Russia, did they bomb this convoy? UN convoy. Senator, we, that hasn't been concluded, but my judgment would be that they did. They're certainly responsible. Do you agree with me, Secretary Carter? And we've been friends for years, and I'm sorry, so contentious. I, That's you, all right. You're a good man. What should we do about Russia, 
who was given notice about this convoy if they in fact bombed a UN convoy delivering humanitarian aid. What should we do about that? Well, I, uh, if, let me put it even a little more harshly, uh, and the uh, chairman said this uh, earlier, the Russians are responsible uh, for this strike, whether they conducted it or not, because totally they have agree taken responsibility for the conduct of the Syrians by associating themselves with the Syrian regime. What they're supposed to do, and what Secretary Kerry has been indefatigably pursuing uh, diplomatically, is to uh, uh, get a true cessation of hostilities and get Assad to move aside in a political transition. They're not doing and, their and part. And I, 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 that is, that is what Secretary Kerry is trying to achieve. Is that difficult? Absolutely. Does it look in the last few days like that's the direction it's headed? No. And he said, he said as much, but that's what he's trying to accomplish. Do you think the Russians are being helpful? My time is up. Have they been more? Do you think the Russians bombed this convoy? Most likely. I, I do, Senator. Last question. Is there a plan B in terms of if diplomacy fails, a plan B for Syria that has a military component? Senator, we have regarding done. Regarding Assad. We, we have done and will continue to do a wide range of planning. And should the president uh, change the policy objectives, we'll be prepared to support those. 